Hi, I'm Barry Godin and welcome back. We're back in business. So desperate to get out. I left work yesterday at half past four. I rode 50 miles to, um, to the Chilterns. Very nice, a nice wild camp spot last night. It was warm, dry, not windy at all. Um, yeah, so here's a couple of clips from yesterday. And today, we're churning across the Ridgeway, we end up by Tring, and do the canal back into London. A nice one nighter, but it should be about 100 something miles. I need to get some miles in the legs. Got some events coming up. Got Jen Rye coming up. Yeah, my legs need to be ready for it. But thank you everyone for sticking with me. I promise, I promise, promise, promise. Some videos are coming out now. And yeah, <laughs> enjoy what happened yesterday. <laughs> Miles already done. Windsor Castle. <laughs> ah, the fish he made it too. The Chilterns in Oxfordshire. 40 miles in, non stop. Left at half four and it's half seven. <sighs> Get a bit pooped, and now the hills are going to start. <laughs> 10 miles more, fun stop. So I've done really well today. I mean, it's 46 miles, 90, I think, no, 70% off-road, which is pretty cool. And um, I managed it in four hours, non-stop, no breaks, eating on the move. Um, but I got to the pub at the end where I'm gonna go and camp. And I was like, yeah, go and get the water. Closed, bloody closed. So look for a tap on the outside. No tap, well, there's one tap, it's turned off. So for the first time in my life, I actually went and rung on the door had a beautiful couple, um, let me have water, nice chat. I actually haven't spoken to anyone since I left work. Um, but yeah, it's amazing what you can do when you leave work and just paddle non-stop. I'm in the countryside, I'm in the Chilterns, I have a sunset. All right, let's go and find camp. <laughs> Good morning and what a morning. Found a beautiful little spot last night. Sun is up. Clear blue skies. There we are. Not a bad view for one evening. <laughs> mm. So we're all packed up. I'm gonna start riding before eight o'clock in the morning, which is pretty good. The sun is out. This is a pretty good spot. It's quite warm. So yeah, let's now bring on the Ridgeway.
got a bit of a story from this particular part of the Ridgeway, just outside Prince Risborough. Um, I just got back from Iceland and Iceland had 2.5 width tyres. I spent all this money on rims and stuff and tyres to go to three inches, which is what you always see me on now. I rode this part here in, it was winter time, and around here is chalk or oh, immense amount of clay. It was so, so clay. I pushed all this about a mile or two down here and every moment my tyres just filled up. Oh, they have them right now, but not that bad. It was like super glue. I was so frustrated by it. Right at the end, I had a rock which wedged into my rear tyre between the tyre and the chainstay and it can opened the entire tyre open. My brand new tyre, 85 pounds worth of tyre, literally written off, wrote off my trip. And I sat down behind this school and cried my little eyes out. The amount of things I've done, but I couldn't get along the ridgeway. So you've got to be careful when bike packing. As soon as you hear a rubbing noise, whoa, stop <laughs> and sort it out straight away. Don't let it carry on rubbing because it could end up the end of your journey. Today, the conditions are quite different. Although still wet, rather wet in places. Whoa. One hand in. <laughs> <laughs> done off road this morning along the ridgeway now I've hit the canal I love a bit of canal and the sun is out and it looks absolutely spectacular so now got quite a fair way to go I think it's like 30 30 40 miles and um, along the canal in a bit of horrible London and back home what a quality little trip loving it <laughs> miles now non-stop again obviously off road all morning so I'm a bit tired now and I'm on a bit of a ditches rowy line going towards Watford and then that's where some of the nasty roads begin I've gone and done it 22 hours I was last at work and I've done a hundred miles 55 today and 40 something yesterday, 46 yesterday. I've done the whole thing pretty much non-stop, no breaks, no food breaks, just eat while you're moving. But yeah, it's a really good feeling to issue right back to your door again after work. It's a little bit delayed in between my ride. But thanks for coming along, like, plenty more adventures on their way and see you soon. Ciao for now.